Hello friends, welcome to this episode of Science for Common Man. Today, we are going to show a magic to you. How was our magic? Well, science has got clear explanation for this observation. While rubbing with the hair, some electrons got transferred to the balloon from the hair and the paper pieces were attracted to the balloon due to these extra electrons or static charge present in the balloon. Well, we tried the same thing on the combination of steel and cotton but nothing happened. Why? Why electrons got transferred while rubbing in the case of hair and balloon and why electrons flew to the balloon and not to the hair? This episode will give simple but comprehensive explanation on what is static charge, why static charge develops and why it happens only in some selective combinations. Let us zoom into this balloon and hair and see what they are made up of and yes, all materials are made up of something called atoms. An atom is somewhat like a tiny solar system with so called nucleus in the center and electrons moving in specified orbits around the nucleus like our planets revolve around the sun. And here too, in the center we have a relatively massive object called nucleus and inside the nucleus we have protons with positive charge. Orbiting electrons have negative charge and it is a universal phenomenon that opposite charges attract each other. In solar system, the planets are held in orbit by the gravitational force from the sun whereas here, it is the force of attraction between negatively charged electrons and positively charged protons. This force in fact varies from atom to atom and electron to electron even within an atom. In the atoms of some materials, the electrons are tightly held while in some other materials, some of the electrons are loosely held. And one more thing to note, the number of positive charges and negative charges is equal in an atom. Or in other words, if I take this hair or balloon as a whole, the net charge in them is zero and they remain normally neutral. Now, what do I do when I rub the balloon with hair? I am actually bringing the atoms of balloon into contact with atoms of hair for a moment. And what happens then? There are some loosely held electrons in the atom of hair. These electrons in the atom of hair is now pulled by the nucleus of atom of balloon and they momentarily become part of the balloon and in the process of rubbing, the contact is lost now and many electrons of hair are trapped in the balloon. This gives an excess negative charge to the balloon and positive charge to the hair and we say both have static charge now. We call it static because the trapped charge remain unmoving on the surface looking for a way out. When the charged balloon is brought near a paper which is neutral by itself, the negative charge in the balloon pulled the positive charges in the paper towards it and caused a charge separation in the paper and as a result of this paper was attracted. Consider this explanation of electron transfer as a basic conceptual one provided for easy understanding and remember more and more research is underway to find different ways in which charges are transferred. But then, nothing happened when I rubbed steel with cotton. Why? The reason is that, based on the atomic sizes and strength of nucleus, certain materials have a high affinity to gain electrons and some tend to lose electrons while coming into contact. In this list, the materials appearing on top tend to lose electrons and those on bottom tend to gain electrons. The cotton and steel are here. That means they both have no tendency so nothing happened. Select two materials wide apart in this list, rub them together and you have static charge developed. This list is in fact called triboelectric series. From this list, we can easily make out combinations where magic can be performed. Plastic rod versus hair, plastic wrap versus cotton and so on. Now, this property gives us meaningful indications also sometimes. For example, if you are out there under the cloudy sky and if you ever observe your hair pulled up like this, immediately look for cover because here the cloud surface on the top of your head has become negatively charged and it is attracting your hair and there is every chance of a heavy lightning. So look for cover and be safe. So in a nutshell, certain combination of materials have an affinity for transfer of charges between them and if they come into contact, static charge may get accumulated on them, giving lot of after effects. Thank you for watching. Hope you liked it. 
Please do support and subscribe to us and click the bell button for receiving notifications about the future videos. Signing off, signs for common man. Mm -hmm.